children are ill because of the drought. We did not get any rain for the last two seasons. Most of them they are dead. And still now they are going to die. In the Horn of Africa, death and starvation stalk the land. A devastating drought has left the region barren and dry, pushing 11 million people to the brink of famine. Ethiopia, Somalia and Kenya are the worst affected countries. Temperatures in the region often soar above 40 degrees and the situation is fast becoming critical. Cattle and livestock carcasses lie rotting in the baking desert sun. The owners of the cattle cannot feed them and are forced to watch them starve before their eyes. Children look desperately towards their mothers, anticipating food. Weak and vulnerable, inevitably, they suffer most. The once mighty river Dua, the main water source for the area, has virtually dried up. Communities now congregate near boreholes and pay for mechanically pumped water. The situation is worse at the many wells where desperate communities dig as deep as 80 feet only to find dirty, contaminated water. Abdul Qadr is a typical victim of the drought. He is a livestock farmer and his livelihood is dependent upon his herd. To his despair, his precious goats are dying in large numbers. No rain means no crops. There simply isn't enough food to feed his livestock. Those that haven't already died are nothing more than skin and bones. Their deaths place a tremendous strain on his ability to provide food for his large family. Islamic Relief has been working in Kenya since 2003. In the drought hit Mandera province, the emergency response is already well underway. Islamic Relief tankers deliver thousands of litres of water daily, providing a brief respite from the drought. Despite the sweltering heat, people queue patiently, their desperate need clean drinking water for their families and livestock. Malnourished children are weighed and then given nutritionally supplemented food at therapeutic feeding centres. Supplementary food is also being distributed in the villages. Millions are perilously close to a catastrophic famine. In these harsh times, they turn to the heavens for help. Worshippers gather in congregation to perform a special prayer for rain. Theirs is a simple plea to the Almighty, send us water. The harsh truth is that if help does not reach them soon, people will begin to die in their millions. Islamic Relief is launching a campaign to raise five million pounds. There is no time to lose. Help us to reach them in their hour of need. Allah says, saving one life is like saving the whole of humanity. <laughs>